Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Doing something different today? Yeah, before the review, let's do like a quick icebreaker just to get conversation going. Okay. They can learn about us, we can learn about them. And you guys can answer the question in the comments below. But also leave a comment about the whiskey later too. Oh. Spam us with comments. <laughs> Make Lindsay reply to them all. No. Anyway, all right, what's our question today? Uh, well, we just had a barbecue, a new passion okay. of mine. Yeah. Smoke pork butt for 20 hours straight. I didn't go to bed that night. Yeah, that's true. What's your favorite side? Homemade, store-bought, anything. What would you bring to a barbecue? Um, bringing to a barbecue would definitely be my mom's beans. She puts like hamburger and bacon and smoky links and brown sugar and all kinds of good stuff. So you're telling me them. you're not going to the store and buying some. You're not making some. You're going to have your mom make something. Well, no, I know how to make them too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't cheat. And if I'm doing something from the store, I'm probably going to do pickles because I'm a picky mm. pickle girl and I can't make pickles to save my life. So really I, would, I would buy them. Refrigerator pickles are good. Yeah, too. those are good. I love well, Mason Clausen. I do love our smoked pepper dip. Oh, yeah. That's we, a good we one. We roast too. our own peppers and smoke it and put cheese, mayonnaise, sour cream. Bunch John of found it in. online and then we just kind of made it our own so but i'm gonna have to pick coleslaw i i need coleslaw you need your with coleslaw. my barbecue i not a coleslaw it has to be good i mean i can go to kfc i love theirs i'm really picky yeah we've we've spent a lot of money on coleslaw yeah right. reese's is my favorite brand that i see and i get it at save a lot the cheap store and yeah. all of them that's we use it at work too every now and then huh. but anyways we got a blind review today all right, well, guys, I'm really excited about this one. Mm. I know I, I say that, it. but I'm actually really excited to talk about this one and hear John's thoughts on this yeah. one. So, what are I'm we also smelling? Trying something new, oh, note wise. Yeah. It won't be every video until I we go through all my pre notes. Yeah, a bunch of samples that we've already done. Yeah, but this is the first one I did like this. We're a little behind. Sorry, guys. It's been a busy couple of weeks. So on the nose. I'm gonna go dominant and strong smells, and then moderate smells, and then weak smells, weak or faint. So this one's dominant raisin, banana and strawberry smoothie. Smoothie, yeah. okay. Interesting. That's dominant, all three of those. Very fruity, got it's it. It's moderately like dried apricot, vanilla extract. There's some dry little sweet wood on there. Okay. And then there's faint alcohol and floral. So that tells me it's not 80 proof. I don't usually get alcohol on that. It's not 80 proof, so you're correct there. I, I really like the smell on this one. I've never had like a smoothie note on that and it's, it's strong. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a 4.25. Okay, okay. I suppose I should kind of calculate it out. Mm -hmm. Now the taste is it's dominant banana smoothie. I don't get the strawberry on it. There's some mm, sweet but dry oak still. Some bitterness. Um, it's kind of like a char, but it's not too strong. I mean, there's some spice in there, a little bit of black pepper that comes along with that oakiness, and I get like a little nutmeg. One of that woodier baking spices, nuttier. I don't know how to describe nutmeg. Strong. <laughs> um, I I mean I would agree with like woodier, nuttier. Kind See, of I like thing. it. It's good. There's nothing off putting at all in the taste. I'm gonna give it a seven point seven five. Okay. It's really good. I don't taste much age on there, uh, but that oak is, it's pleasant. Now the finish, I get vanilla leather, 
that stick around that charry bitterness turns to more of a leather. Okay. Medium length, but my favorite part of the finish was the mouthfeel. It's like cool and silky. Interesting. Mm hmm. Almost satiny. No. Okay, now we're satin. All right. I really like the finish. So I'm going to go four. Okay. Now the look, it's a little light, but the legs look nice. It has really nice legs. There's a really nice bead line. They're and I mean, streamy. those legs are, they just flow. They keep the glass. Which is interesting for something that's light. Kind of golden. I'm going to say, yeah, gold. Okay. I'll give the color and look a two. I wish it was darker, but I think the legs are pretty. Okay. Any guesses? I said 95-ish proof. No idea on the guess. A little youthful, but I I use the word young when it's bad because it's corny and stuff like that when it's young. A lot of stringency. This doesn't have that, but it doesn't have a super strong wood taste either. Okay. So it's a youthful in a very pleasant way. Dead air That's silence? No, oh, sorry. No, no guesses? No, I don't have a guess. It's not something that I drink normally, Regularly? I don't think. No. So you're close with your proof guess. 95-ish. You're at 93 with this one. Mm. It's not Blanton's. Don't worry. <laughs> um... I wouldn't rank Blanton's that good. This comes out of Philadelphia. Oh. Uh, made by a friend of ours. Which who I had one? a wonderful conversation with. And we've be grown to love. I haven't gone to those bottles in a while, so I don't really... You have not. I can't nail down which one that is. I know it's not the original. It is not. It is his Train Whistle Wheat. Ooh. All right. So this is Pops McCann. This is made by our friend Jason over in Philadelphia. He blends it though with natural spring water. Belfonte from Pennsylvania. Sorry. Probably a suburb. Suburb. Um, so he has. I wouldn't have guessed that's a weird. I'm kind of. I know. It's very. You were fruity and this, and I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. okay. Um. Mashville, I'm sorry, is very, very small. It is 51% corn, 45% wheat, and 4% malted barley. This is 93 proof. Um, it's wheated bourbon whiskey, and it's called Train Whistle Wheat. So he, he does source everything, at least for now. I do know where that Mashville is from, but that doesn't mean that other distilleries don't do that Mashville too. Right. So I'm not going to say. We won't it, say. It's not disclosed. Um. He has a lot of undisclosed sources that he gets barrels from. This particular one is bottled out of four barrels that he got. So Jason Fogg runs this whole enterprise he's gotten, he's created, Pops McCann. Okay. He has a very okay. long Hold running on. history. Something I just noticed and I just blew my mind. Look at the barcode. The That's a suitcase. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, before I get in, because I have a lot to say about Jason and his brand, um, I want you to rate the bottle real quick so we can okay. get our final numbers So the bottle here. is my favorite. I think the label is spectacular. It does have all the information you need on it. Blended with natural spring water. Um, it is a straight bourbon whiskey, so if it's under four years, it does have to say, and it does say three years on it, which extremely blows my mind because... Yeah. Weeders do not develop flavor very easily. No, because wheat is what it's an—it's a more neutral grain. Yeah, it's a lot, it's, lot, lot. Um, it's not really known as a flavoring grain, right? So it needs more age. So with this being that young, I really do think it is better than like Larceny and Rebel Yo by far, because I don't like Rebel Yo. Mm -hmm. A lot of weeders like that. Um, I'd say if you like Weller Special Reserve, this is a good alternative for that. Yeah. Weller has a lot more oaky taste, but the fruitiness and stuff like that, it's all there for the availability. I mean, it's not available everywhere. Hopefully his brand blows up because 
Yeah. This is good. But the bottle, oh. anyway, I just went on a rant. I'm going to give it full points. I mean, I love the tall bottle. It reminds me of like an E.H. Taylor bottle. The label has a photograph on it, whole time. Train, I mean, presentation is well done. Agreed. So that's going to give you... Only thing I don't like is it doesn't have a real cork. Synthetic. But that's kind of a, Here a personal there. preference. I won't mark it down for that. All right, so that's going to give you 20.5, which gives you a total of 82, which I feel is very... If that was something more with age, I'd say that's lacking a little bit. But going by it's a three-year weeder, that is spectacular. Yeah. That's better than Larcy. That's better than <laughs> Rebel Yell. What other weeders are they? I mean, Weller and... and... I'm having a brain fart on the other one that's right in my head right now, and it's gone. Yeah, there's a main one I'm missing. Yep. Anyway, um, so I just want to devil a little bit into Jason and his brand. So Jason is very charismatic. He's very outgoing. He's very joyful, and he's very proud of his heritage, and that's exemplified in everything that has to do with his brand. Um luggage vintage luggage and feathers are kind of his thing and let's have a taste is his slogan and he started this in 2017 and just kind of been pushing it since then he has what five different i know we have three he has two rise two bourbons and one irish irish i don't know if you can say irish mm, yeah irish Mark. style i guess irish style which is his original um, so it's five different and offerings new one soon. and he is about to release his sixth. Um, they are available in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Navy, Nexcom stores, Virginia beach, and San Diego, but obviously hoping to broadband a little further soon or then later. Um, I had the pleasure of talking with him. I think we talked for a little over two hours and I got his whole life story of everything that led up to this moment and he's so much fun to talk to i never met the guy before never talked to him a day in my life until that moment and it literally i could have talked to him for three more hours he's very easy to talk to and he has a lot to say in his brand and his his passion is insane mm -hmm. um but all of his bottles and all of his um different kinds of whiskey and different offerings that he has are all based upon something so Train Whistle Wheat is based upon his the original Pops McCann. Um, he was a coal miner in Scranton, and he decided, you know what, his mom passed away, and he went to the train station and caught a train and moved in, away and picked up a different lifestyle. He met uh, Ann Hughes McCann, which created Jason's family tree. So... In that heritage, he has Train Whistle Wheat, which is the train on the label, going into the tree of life because he's a big thing of karma and um, I can't think of what it is, but just that creating, if that would have never happened, if he wouldn't have decided to walk away from umpteen years of coal mining from his family history and kind of like a butterfly catch a train, type of thing. yes, One thing yes, changes. yep. So Jason will say, you know, he even in like the emails he sent me and stuff, he's like, if you wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have been here and hundreds of other people wouldn't be here either. You know, 10 years down the road when Pops is a big brand and, and gaining moving. traction yeah. and everything, I think he needs to put out a book of everything. Yeah. And that's the thing There's is so like... There's so much information on his family. And I... Jason has so much enthusiasm and charisma and just so much steam pushing himself forward with all of this and he's doing such a great job and he's putting out some great stuff and like I said this is one of the best weeders that I've had and I'm a big weeder fan and it's only three years old yeah so it's like just having like talking to him and trying to write everything down and learning so much about him and his family and then everything being out there too it's just awesome to see how much he's incorporated his family into the brand that he's creating. So, yeah. 
So you got any more information on this one? Um, another thing I thought was cool was that, so Pops McCann is John Francis and he, it, Jason made it 93 proof because he was born in 1893. Hmm. So I thought that was kind of cool. Just another, again, just another ode to his family, um, who he, you know, dedicates everything to with everything he's doing. So it was just kind of cool. It's, I mean, the story is like, I got pages pages of all the different stories of everything going from all of his different offerings and it's just absolutely astounding what he's doing and Jason our hats off to you I think you're doing a great thing and we 110% support it's it's amazing it's good stuff guys and we're not just saying that. You could talk that. about this one for like a half hour. I could. <laughs> yeah I could talk about it to you forever and a day because he's just an amazing guy. He's on Instagram, Facebook, everything. Yeah, Pops McCann, they have their own website. Go check them out, guys. See what they're you about. You might not be able to buy this in many places, but definitely give them a follow. Yeah. Definitely keep an eye on where they're selling. You might be able to message him. You might be able to buy it through his website or something. something he works something out, but I mean, it's he's, he's definitely worth it. Even if you just want a, a good story, you want to bend an ear or anything. Jason's your guy. He's he's got the char charisma and he's got the story for you behind it. So those smoothie notes are really throwing me <laughs> off. That's very unique to this one. No, we haven't opened this one in a minute. It's getting a little cinnamon on the nose too. That is. It's smoothie. It reminds me of like those smoothie skittles, like that tangy like. I can see that. I don't know. It's interesting. Mm. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Again, I could talk to you guys for the next 45 minutes about this. So what are these? They're like 40, 45 bucks? Yes, I think they're around 45, depending. Craft whiskeys are tending to be more expensive. That's mm -hmm. more of the affordable ones. So yeah. price, I'm super happy about. I'd probably pay double. Yeah. Don't tell them that. <laughs> well, shh. <laughs> I don't we want would. to pay double, but I would. But we would. But yeah, so definitely, guys, check them out. Any questions or anything that you have, I can try and answer. And if I can't, I can send you to Jason to answer them. Um, and let us know what your favorite barbecue side is. Anything else you want to add? No. There you have it. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.